welcome back. I'm excited to share with you all what I eat in a day. During my squat cycle. So nutrition is key to maximizing our strength and also performance. So we're gonna dive right in and, and see what fuels my workouts. So because I start my day rather early, I kind of wake up in a fasted state. So I like to sometimes eat a little like Nutri-Grain bar or something of that sort, like a breakfast bar before I get to the gym. So I can have some calories in there to work with and utilize while I work out. Also on my way to the gym, I like to have a pre-workout during this time because we're in a squat cycle. I like to have energy drinks and I don't, I don't find myself drinking the whole can. I couldn't drink like one can for three days. I just need a little pick me up, right? So I'll drink that also with some water and also my rhodiola in the morning to get me energized for the rest of my day and really set the mood. So once I get home, I like to take my post-workout drink, which is protein, L-glutamine during this time, and then also creatine. Creatine is like my holy grail when it comes to my fitness journey. I love creatine. When I first started my squat cycle, right, I needed something to help me because I found that I was sore every single day. So. I went to my brother, I'm like, I'm sore every day from working out. I don't know how I'm supposed to recover um, successfully and sufficiently if I'm squatting every day. Because at that time I was squatting six days a week rather than five days. He was like, do you take creatine? Do you drink protein? And I'm like, no. And so I started with the protein first. I wasn't really thinking about the creatine, but he was like, you need some creatine, get some monohydrate, really helps recover you within sufficient time, right? So. I started taking creatine and when I tell you my life has changed, it's so good. I feel like my muscles feel even stronger than what they were before. I recover faster. I feel good. I have less fatigue. Creatine is my number one, right? So L-glutamine is really good for muscle recovery as well. This is new to my supplement rotation. I had it before and I was just trying it out, but I'll let you know, it sat in my, pa my pantry for a long time. And then once the squat cycle started, I said it wouldn't hurt to start utilizing it. And ever since I started using it, I feel a slight, a even bigger difference in my recovery time in between my workouts, right? But in between my squats. Um, recently I had stopped using it because I didn't feel like buying it anymore and I was like you know what I really feel the difference when I'm not using it. It's getting sunny outside. Hey it's getting sunny outside. So now we're starting our day. I work 10 hours a day so I start off with my first breakfast. I call this my first breakfast and then I have a second one during my lunch time. So for my first breakfast I like to have a yogurt and I found this yogurt off online I'll put his name at the bottom but he makes this protein yogurt and he really emphasizes like protein and getting your protein in for wet weight loss but I love it because it's a good way for me to um, help with my recovery and also building strong muscles right so I need um, a little bit more protein than I would normally have so I specifically was doing this for like the 45 grams of protein but now it's just easy to make I whipped up some yogurt um, blueberries, I use PB Fit, um, Catalina Crunch, and a little bit of the Chia Seed um, Smash. I love the Chia Seed Smash, I whip it all together and just eat that. And I'll have different variations of it throughout the week and I love it, okay? So that bowl is a balanced meal, rich in protein, healthy, healthy fats and complex carbs, whatever you choose to put in it. And it doesn't take that long to make, it literally takes me like 10 minutes to make and I'll just eat that while I'm working. The grocery store, I got a roasted chicken 
and some sourdough bread. I wanted to get it from Trader Joe's, but I worked the weekend, so I'm not gonna get there probably until Monday, and I want it for the weekend, so I just got theirs, but it looked pretty good. Garlic, basil, Parmesan, I got Parmesan, I have olive oil, I have garlic cloves, pine nuts, lemon, and that's it. Can I use another nut if there's not any pine nuts? That's my problem, because when we were in Wegmans, we could not find the pine nut. So is there an, another option if we don't have pine nuts? You can do walnut. You can use almonds. I don't know if we want any almonds. Or walnuts. So we're going to look for pine nut or walnut. So let's go over to ShopRite. Mm, so since we're talking about what we're eating in a day and filled with protein, I don't know if I've made it even toward my goal today, but I don't think I have. I used to track my food on like Fitness Pal and stuff, but after doing it for so long, you kind of don't need to do it anymore because you can kind of tell what things have more protein in it. You know, you can kind of count your macros by visually looking at it. But <clears throat> let me share with y'all what I got from the grocery store. I went to two grocery stores. I got some sour dough bread. I'm gonna think I'm gonna have toast today because I bought bagels, but we'll get to that. So then I got my roasted chicken, which I'm so happy about. This is mango habanero. I bought some lactose milk. We don't really drink a lot of milk, so I just got a small one. Um, an avocado, I always at least get one. I got some candy grapes. I got a lot of grapes. I should have took some out, but I got some grapes. That's my purse. Yeah, so I bought bagels, but I forgot to buy um, cream cheese to go along with it because I wanted cream cheese. And then I didn't know, but I thought I could only get my Chia Smash from Whole Foods or when I would get it online on Amazon. But they have it at my grocery store and it had this new flavor. I haven't tried, well maybe I have, but they had the Chia Smash and Cherry. So I'm gonna try this, but I wanted to put this on top of the um, cream cheese with my protein bagel, but didn't buy any. So instead I'm gonna make myself toast with some avocado because I think I have half an avocado in there. An egg real quick just to eat because I didn't really have lunch and it's kind of late in the day already. It's like four o'clock. I got some basil because I'm making the pesto. Now I bought this last week and it went bad. So my goal is to try and make it today or tomorrow but as soon as possible and I have to figure out how I can keep this. So then I got more arugula. I've been eating so much arugula salad. I'm so happy because this is like the third one I bought in the last. So I've been eating it. And then I got the seeds. They actually had something spilled. I got my pine nuts they at the grocery store, and I'm sorry. Y'all had the pine nuts, and then I got some chia seeds too. This is like five grams of protein. Um, so, got that. I don't know why my bag is like. So, after my workouts, while I'm working, I refuel with another breakfast, right? Which is more like my second breakfast, like I said. This time, I'm gonna have some two boiled eggs or sometimes I'll fry them and I like to season, season them up a little bit and then I'll add avocado for some healthy fats and then also put it on toast. Lately I've been loving sourdough and um, so I'll toast that and put that on some sourdough and I'll probably eat two slices of that. So you'll got, you guys will see that and I love it. It's packed with protein, antioxidants. Sometimes I'll put like blueberries on it. But when it comes to trying to fit in protein during the day, because this is a squat cycle and it's, first, and it's also focused on strength and also reaching a new PR, I have to intake a little bit more protein. So during my off season, when I'm not trying to work out for strength, I would probably eat between 120 grams of protein, but when I'm in the strength journey, right, I'm going to kick it up a bit. So I find myself doing like 150 grams of protein. At least that's what I try to fit in. I'm not stressed about fitting it in, but I want enough where I know the difference the next day. I feel the fact that like you ate well last night, you had enough protein, you're nice and recovered. I really listened to my body during this time. And you guys saw what it looks like when you don't, right? I don't hit PRs, I have plateaus, I feel fatigued, and I'm not recovering fast enough. So that's my whole goal is to really focus in on protein during this muscle building period. So during 
So throughout the day, we're working, you know, we work in our nine to five. Some of us, we working even longer. I have to add some snacks in there. So I've noticed that I'm starting to indulge a little bit into more of hummus and some crackers. Sometimes I'll eat like a little bit of chocolate to add some sweets in there with um, maybe pieces of cheese. I like making small charcuterie board like little snacks is a good way to fit in your protein as well. Um, these are some things that I like to do, right? So for dinner, I opt for balanced meals, lean um, proteins that keep me satisfied, but also energized, right? So throughout the afternoon into the dinner time, I like to either have like grilled chicken, roasted chicken, steaks. My dad cooks a lot of steaks, steaks and vegetables. Um, I like to make sure I have my carbs in there. So I have like potatoes. I eat a lot of potatoes, baked potato, um, and also have my greens and my fibers. Lately, I've been really indulging in arugula. That is a lettuce I don't find myself gravitating toward a lot, but I've started eating that with a little bit of olive oil, some lemon juice, and then I'll shred some Parmesan cheese on top of it, get a little bit of protein up in there. And I really do enjoy it. Between meals, I have to say it's a delicious and satisfying meal that provides essential nutrients for my recovery and also repairing. So there you have it, a day's worth of nutrition meals to fuel my squat cycle. This is just a look inside what I decide to eat and the things that help me. So remember to be consistent when it comes to nutrition and also performance. And I thank you all for watching and joining me during this journey. And I'll see you in my next episode. <laughs> yeah. As I get a little older, I realize life is perspective. And my perspective may differ from yours. I wanna say thank you to everyone that's been down with me. All my fans, all my beautiful fans,